video is sponsored by Hikes Boots, but not just any Hikes Boots, the Black Eagle Tactical 2.0 GTX. A more casual uniform duty boot with more textile and leather to make it lightweight and the most breathable boot that you will ever wear. The textile is pushed under your pants so that you leave this area exposed so you can polish it and still maintain your uniform policies at work. It's made with sun reflect technology that repels the heat and keeps your feet nice and cool all day, even when standing on the hot pavement. Gore-Tex, that means your feet will stay dry in the rain, sleet, snow, and even if you're walking and you step in a big pile of shit like a tennis shoe to give you all day comfort, making it more responsive. Oh, something that I like. This right here, this little zipper. It's a built-in feature to make you get your shoes on and off after a long days of work. You don't want to struggle with it. So bam, you just zip it down. This stays laced and you're good to go. Next day, same difference. Put it back on, zip it up, and you're ready for work. It is anti-static. Great for bomb techs and other people that work in sensitive areas. And all the boots come with a one year warranty. So if you go right now to hikesusa.com and sign up, you could extend that one year warranty to two, two year warranty. Use promo code NOD to get an additional 15% off of your purchase. Oh, and last but not least, remember heroes wear hikes. <laughs> Welcome back to the greatest show on YouTube. That's right, we're back. Ah, let's see if I remember how to do this. Your eyes do not deceive you. Welcome back to Police Cars. And guess what, guys? This is season two, episode one. So if it's season two, uh, if it's your first time watching uh, these kind of videos, we do a series here on this channel called Police Cars. That's where we go around and tour police cars uh, around the nation. If you don't remember, last year we went to LAPD. Uh, check them out, California Highway Patrol. So that's right, we're nationwide. Hopefully one day we'll be <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Dale. Today we are about four hours north of Miami. We drove up here because hey, when Marion County sheriffs tell you they got a Hellcat. You making some kind of drill? Oh, no. We got a Hellcat. Well, <laughs> God dang it, you drive four hours to see that Hellcat. <laughs> right now, we're standing outside of Marion County Sheriff's Office. We're gonna go meet uh, Sergeant Bloom. Um, and and if, you, if you guys are feeling that energy, I'm feeling it too. And I'm just ready, cuz we're back. All right, let's go in there. Looks like they got mirror. Hey, doing, Sarge? Hey, Nick. Good, buddy. Hey, how's it going? I'm, I'm doing good. I noticed you have uh, these mirror tints on here. Yeah, we do. Uh, hopefully, you didn't catch any of that. Day. I was just doing a little jig out here, you know. No, I didn't see any of that. No, okay. It's good to be back. Oh, I saw you saw it. <laughs> so you saw it. So what's going on, Sarge? I don't know. I'm excited for season two. Is what's going on? That's what I'm talking yeah. about. So, uh, what is that right there? This is something not everybody has right here. That, My own talking. police car's mug. You didn't get your name on it. Look at that. Look at it. Yeah, you are, you are uh, leaving me in the dust, man. I need to get my act together and start making some mugs. You need to. I knew you yeah. wouldn't have your act together, so. <laughs> what? Calm down. So, Sarge, uh, thank you for the mug. Appreciate Glad to do it. it. Glad to do it. 
Uh, I'm noticing around here, this is like a, a police officer's Disneyland. This is a huge compound. It's very okay. big. We got uh, 1,600 square miles to cover, one of the biggest counties in Florida. So right here, you're at our central operations building. And then besides this building, we have 11 district offices scattered all throughout that 1,600 square miles. But then also here, a training facility, I'll show you a little bit later, uh, obstacle courses, we have indoor shoot houses, we have a bunch going on. Aviation, we may even get to go out there today, I don't know. Ooh. I can't make promises, but uh, do have a little hot rod surprise to show you today too. Awesome, and and uh, I noticed that you, looks like a, a jail out there? We do run our own jail uh, here at the Marion County Jail. So uh, with that, we have uh, the courthouse as well here in Marion County, and we house about 1,500 inmates typically at any given time. So a lot going on here. We're one of the biggest employers in Marion County. We have about 900 employees and we have about 300 sworn employees that are out there every day doing the dirty work and keeping this place safe. Nice. So I'm looking around, looking for the hot rod. Where's the hot rod? Nick, I've got it stationed under these beautiful granddaddy oaks here in beautiful central Florida. So it's cooling off under there. The only thing we're missing right now is a glass of sweet tea under these beautiful trees. All right, let's take a look. Come on and see. Sarge came through big time. Is that a is that a Hellcat? Oh, it's a Hellcat all day long. Oh yep. man! So do all your patrol officers or not officers, the deputies, uh, patrol in this vehicle here, or someone thinks similar to this? If I say yes, would you come work for us? Yeah. It's, we really don't. Uh, not not everybody gets one of these. I got one, uh, but we have some a range of other vehicles that we issue. But this one has a special purpose. So this one was seized from a drug dealer. Our drug agents were out there doing hard work. Someone was using this vehicle to sell the poison of heroin to the public, and he was caught. So as part of the Florida law, you lose everything. You lose the cash, you lose cars, you lose houses. Anything you were using to sell that poison, we take it from you. And we put it to good use is what we're doing today. So Sarge, what are some uses that you use uh, this vehicle for, like community outreach stuff? That's exactly what it is. This is my, I call it a 700 horsepower door opener. So it gets, me, it gets my foot in the door to talk to some teenagers, to talk to even to adults about the dangers of heroin and what goes on. I also use this for recruiting. I'm mean, gonna pull up to a police academy and I wanna talk to these guys and girls that are thinking about becoming officers and deputies and I wanna give them my opinion of Marion County Sheriff's Office first. So how better to get their attention than one of these. Yeah. So tell us about this 700 uh, 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 horsepower <laughs> door opener, icebreaker, this thing that makes people say, wow. What is it? It comes with two keys. Today we're gonna have the black key. There is a red key. It's in a vault. There's a little light shining on it. Oh. <laughs> Keep it hidden. There's only like two of us that know where it's at. We have synchronized keys to get into it. Yeah. Because this is the 500 horsepower key, the red key takes it all the way to the full 707 horsepower. This thing is supercharged, V8, fire breathing, you see it sitting on 20 inch Pirelli P zeros. It is ready for action. It's, it was a street machine and it is set up to drag race professionally on a legal course, not on the streets. Disclaimer. I see it's a cat. Does she purr? Oh, she purrs. Can we hear her? She even growls sometimes. Oh, uh, let's hear her. Sounds angry. <laughs> That's an angry kitty. Can we see what she's got under the hood? Let's take a look. All right. Nick, this is a 
stable right here. It's stable. Because that's where all the horses live. Get seven hundred and seven. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all them horses. <laughs> we got a K&N intake. Yeah. You can see supercharged Hemi. Big old fat belt on this thing to spend this much of a beast. So give it that unique sound, that supercharger sound, that scream, that Hellcat sound. So you want to take a ride in it? Do I want to take a ride? Sarge, I drove four and a half hours. Yes, I want to take a ride. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright Sarge, I just want to let you know we're kind of breaking a police car's cardinal rule. What's that? We usually do B-roll before we get inside the car of the interior. Nick, this is this is season two. We can we can change it up. This is it's all new. I like it. I like it. Okay. So where, where are we headed right now? So right now we'll take you over to our, our training course, our obstacle course here. And uh, we'll get to look at the inside of the car, but I'll take you where we get trained to help the inside of us. Oh. Eat your heart and lungs, get strong, get out here on the obstacle course, do some fun stuff, get dirty. And we're not going to do that today. Yeah. We're going to talk about it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, Sarge. I'm gonna have to ask you, please step outside the vehicle while I grab some B-roll. <laughs> Just like somebody that I've heard before. Yes, we're done. Done. Not why I was ready to see inside and hear about this thing. Let's, Let's check it out. All right, so first of all, automatic transmission, eight speed to help tame that 700 horsepower and make it controllable. If you look down here, it's got an SRT mode. I can adjust that. When I press that, you see up here, it gives me some fine detail adjustments for suspension, for engine, for transmission, shift points. Uh, also the launch button. Again, for working on a track, not on the street, but there's a launch button built, built, built for speed, built to race. All right. But do it safely. Yeah. So up here, a fully loaded, fully optioned vehicle. These things come with about everything you want to include paddle shifters, nav, heated and cooled seats, some Alcantara seating on here, the seating surfaces. It's going to keep you from sliding back and forth when we're going around those corners, which we can look at these things. If I want to see how many G-forces I'm pulling, I can do that. This is crazy. It's got a G-force screen up here to tell me I'm going left, right, taking off, stopping, whatever, let you know exactly how much G-forces you're pulling. I can flip over to different gauges. I want to I want to monitor um, different sets. Very, very customizable. Very, like I said, very much top end as far as options go. Sunroof on top. Love the paddle shifters. Paddle shifters kind of add a little bit. I know everybody says, hey, automatic transmission, yeah, but you can still enjoy it paddle shifters man it controls it and it's, and it's controlled it doesn't just go in the next gear for you you can actually control it all the voice commands for bluetooth premium stereo system Harman Kardon stereo system in here so you can hurt your eardrums and not be able to hear anything when you're old but uh, you name it backup cameras everything in here and I'm six foot four 250 pounds Nick's camera may add 10 pounds I don't know but <laughs> it's got Plenty of room here for me. These extra wide seat bolsters kind of keep you in here. You're going around the corners, taking some turns. You're tucked into this thing. It's, it feels like a fighter pilot cockpit almost. And it's very good. These, uh, the seating position, very natural and just feels good. The steering wheel, very good size steering wheel, flat bottom. You'll notice that in a lot of uh, performance vehicles, but just a good feel to it when you're driving, when you're going down the road. It's a comfortable car to drive. I know it's a uh, somewhat of a hot rod, but, and they're not typically known for their comfort. And again, 6'4", 250-ish, 
it's comfortable. <laughs> so I enjoy it. I like I like the ish. The ish. I, the ish leaves a lot of room. Also notice you got your sheriff's vest back there. So this is still a patrol car, so I still can do traffic stops. I do those traffic stops from time to time. And when we go to calls, we're gonna be safe. Got that vest with me, got everything I need with me in this vehicle because and essentially it is a patrol car. It's a very marked patrol car, so gotta keep that with me. Nice. So what is that thing right there? This is how I control the lights for the lights show. So siren also on here. Um, and I can also use this button here on the side to just talk, make All barking right. noises, whatever I wanted to do. I like it. So we're gonna run that down in the light show, yes? Awesome. We're Maybe even down. hear a siren or two. You just might, yeah. If they'll let me over there, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So you get to see all the lights on this thing. And let me tell you, it's got a bunch. Uh, all right, what are we doing? All right, well, this is a community outreach vehicle. So uh, there's events going on all the time. And matter of fact, there's one today, if you don't mind coming along with me. Yeah, well, Nod Squad's down, we're down. Let's go. All right, we'll take the Nod Squad, everybody, let's go. Community all right. event at one of our district offices. Somebody's making a big donation, I heard. Let's go, Nod Squad, we're out. Sarge, so tell me what you got in your hand, man. So check it out. The uh, representatives from the New York Yankees. Uh, we have uh, an affiliation here in Marion County with some of the horse farms. Well, they came by today dropping off all these bags, so I was curious to see what was inside. These are going to our deputies. Nice. Some stuffed animals, that little kids' hats from the New York Yankees. How cool is that? Yeah. Camouflage, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. This thing is full of toys, just all kinds of goodies. So uh, when our deputies are out there on a the call with a child that may have been through a situation that we hate to see them go through, just bring a little comfort. These deputies can carry these around and, and uh, give it to the kids. What a, what a great idea. And I love these community well, events where our band. community comes in and helps us out. This is not something we can do on our own. So sure it takes a community and we, we love it. All right, Sarge, where are we headed? So Nick, I put a lot of lights on this thing. It just, it just needed them, it just looks good. I'm heading over to our hangar, our aircraft hangar. Get in there, really get a good look at these lights on this car. And uh, I think it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a nice light show for you. Oh yeah, can't wait. You can see we got some up here, visor lights going, red and blues, and it's important to layer your lights. So bring it on down here to the hood scoop, put a couple in there, wherever we can squeeze them in. I'm not trying to take away from the air intake. In the grill itself, put some more lights, and then below the grill, getting all the way down to the ground. So really one, two, three, four levels of lights from the front, and uh, you cannot miss this. Uh, you can see it from the space shuttle. So uh, we did the same thing down the side. Side view is very important as well. So going down the side along the bottom, Got a whole strip of lights here, and red and blue, gonna get your attention to you. If you don't see it, then uh, you probably don't need to be on the road. Didn't forget the back either. Wanted to be seen from the rear. So again, layering our lights. It's a good sound back here in the back too. Lights here on the back dash, drop down, got some going along the side of the tag light, and then even lower again out here on the sides. Hit them with the red and blues, whites, all kind of mixed in there together just giving a good overall view of this thing. All right, so you see it's a slick top right here. Could have added another layer of lights on top, but it's got a sunroof. This car is fully optioned, so there's a lot of options come with it. Sunroof is one of those options. 
really nowhere good to put a light bar up here that would not interfere with what we got going on and felt like with four levels of lights in the front I think we're good no wind noise either all right so I want to show you how we turn these lights off and on so inside I can turn on just the front lights just the rear lights turn on all the lights real simple procedure even I can do it so yeah what I got this remote here I can use this for a speaker I can talk on the outside and what's up non squad I can talk to people but I can turn on the lights right here also so I got just my rear lights just the front lights or turn on all of them it's my favorite one but also my siren is on here <laughs> gotta do that sorry to the pilots my bad um, I think they're all right they're okay they survived they're yeah. used to that <laughs> wild helicopter but uh, all right self-contained right here and uh, turn them off reverse procedure so right. simple I can do it So this is the end, I guess. So you want to get out and do the whole challenge coin giveaway? I can't think of a better time to do it. Let's right. do it. Thank you so much for showing me the jurisdiction. Marion County, man. Beautiful. Look at me. Look right here. Got, got horses right there. Awesome agency to work for. Look at all these toys and stuff. Lots of toys. Yeah. And uh, and one in particular is that challenge coin. Sweet Boom, yes. challenge coin. I brought it. There are some hoops to jump through to get this, though. All right. You want to uh, want to show it off there? Let's take a look. This is pretty special. This is the 175th anniversary coin. Last year, we just celebrated the 175th anniversary with that Marion County Sheriff's Office has been in existence, 1844. Not many of these left, but you can get one. All right. This is the portion of the vlog where I tell you how to get the challenge coin. Well, you're gonna, I'm gonna put all the steps in the description so it's easier for you to follow. So you just click the link, click the link, click the link. You're gonna have to follow some social media platforms from Marion County Sheriff's. That's how it works, baby. We got Facebook, make sure you go over there, give them a like. They got Instagram. You also got YouTube while you're here, go to subscribe to their channel. Again, all the links will be down in the description. And then uh, while you're here, go ahead and uh, give me a subscribe. Once you do all those follows and subscribes and all that good stuff, then you're gonna go to Marion County Sheriff's Department on Instagram, where you already be following them, and you're gonna comment done, done on the trailer. And then uh, you are eligible to win one of those bad boys. That's right. I left my coin back at the station. Uh, I trust it's me. Very irresponsible. It's not one of those. Uh, I forgot my wallet. Can you pay for my lunch time? You already trying to get me to pay for your lunch today. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna give it to you. I promise you, I'll put it in the end scene. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to tell to the Nod Squad? Listen, Nod Squad, thanks for following us out here today, and hopefully we had a good time. It's a little bit of taste of Marion County. It's kind of some rolling hill country, horse capital of the world. Awesome place to be. Awesome place to work, and you see some of the tools. So, full disclosure. Not every deputy drives one of these. I'll give you a ride. You come work here, I'll give you a ride in this thing. You just come see oh, me. Oh, speaking of come seeing you, do you know the sign off? Yeah, I think I got it. All right, then hit him with it. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll just see you. My man, fist bump. <laughs>